I'm Dr. Maureen Craig, and I'm going to give a yoga practice this evening. Take a moment to notice where you're sitting. Look around. I'm noticing where I am. It's nice and warm. It's uh, turned into a hot summer, and uh, we're appreciating the heat of this afternoon. So as you look around your space, let the mind catch up with the body. Notice where you're sitting. Draw your attention a little bit inward. Use a big breath. On the exhale, feel the weight of the body resting on the mat, getting heavy. Let the exhale be complete. Draw another breath in, filling up. A little more. And then let that exhale out slowly, perhaps through pursed lips. all the way out to empty draw the navel in a bit drink in another breath a little more filling up and releasing slowly has the mind caught up with the body take a couple more of these breaths where you fill the body with air and feel the fullness in the body. And then slowly let that exhale, drift the breath out all the way down to the end of the exhale. Stay with the mind in the physical body feeling the breath in the body as it fills you or as it's released from the body. And slowly returning to your native breath, your natural breath. On the inhale, imagining an ah. On the exhale, you might actually say om. Inhale, ah, exhale, om. Om. One more. universal sound of connectedness. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder and let the left shoulder drift down and back. Reach those left fingers out just a bit, feeling that stretch in the side of the neck. Inhale, reach the crown up and drop the left ear towards the left shoulder, reaching the right hand away just a little bit, lengthening out the side of the neck. Bring the hand back and then gently roll the chin down towards the chest, lengthening out the back of the neck. Roll the shoulders forward, up towards the ears and down the back. Feel the shoulders as you roll, feel the shoulder blades sliding down your back. Do you feel them connected with your rib cage? And go ahead and bring your arms all the way up to the sky like you're gripping a tree branch and gonna pull yourself up in the tree. On the exhale, pull those elbows down, pull those shoulder blades down, feel them slide down the back. Inhale up, exhale, pull them down. <clears throat> Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it down. One more time, reaching. Exhale, pull it down. 
drop your right hand behind the back if that's available to you. You might drop it into the notch of the other elbow. And then pull that elbow forward and the shoulder, let it come back and down as you stretch away just a little bit with the crown of the head. Inhale and switch arms. This helps us open up our shoulders. Draw the elbow forward, the shoulder back. So much of our day we spend at a desk, computer, telephone, drawing our shoulders forward. This is an opportunity to expand. Reach those hands out into a T, roll your thumbs back, let the shoulder blades kiss just a little. There you go, feel that in your body. Oh, feel the squeeze back there, yeah. Drop that right hand to the mat. Sweep the left hand over a side bend. Inhale, paint the sky. Drop the hand, sweep over. Inhale through center, exhale, side bend. Press into that mat to help you really expand the side body on the left. Inhale, sweep it over and expand the side body on the right. Then let's take a little bit of a twist here. Bring one hand to the inside of the knee and then sweep the other one open. So keep the spine long and then sweep it open so you are actually pressing on that knee to help you rotate your spine. Inhale as you come through the center and take it on the other side. Sweep it open, stay tall and rotate. Inhale and switch. Exhale into the twist. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Come on down onto your back and we'll take a few core movements to help strengthen our core. We're always working for those muscles to be strong because they help us in every activity we do. Once you're flat on, the on your back, draw your knees up so your heels are behind your glutes. Feel the small of the back and exhale, push it down towards the mat. Feel the engagement of those core muscles in the low abdomen. We'll start by marching the feet just a little bit, lifting. Do you feel those muscles engaging? That's the ones. Keep breathing. Little puffs of air. Breathe with your march. You're doing it? Not so hard, but it gets those deep muscles going. Engage your pelvic floor as you're marching and breathing. Four more, three, two, and one. Bring the shins into tabletop, arms out into cactus. Feel the core engage as you use the weight of your legs to challenge those muscles that keep our core stable. Transverse abdominus muscles. Drop the knees to one side, exhale back to center. Inhale out, exhale back up. Do you feel those muscles engaging? The ones that wrap your ribs and that lower abdomen. Keep the knees right over the hips. Don't let them come in too close or out too far. Good job. Drop them off, lift them up. Once more to each side now. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Drop the heels, press the tops of the thighs away. Cleansing breath. <sighs> Grab the sides of your mat, bring your shins into tabletop, and you can do one foot at a time or both feet together. Use the exhale, push the small of the back down as you push the feet away. Breathing. 
and exhale nice and slow four more two more last one we'll roll over onto our right side and we'll come into a side plank of your choosing you can bring it on your hand or on your elbow you can be on your knees or you can be on your feet your feet can be split apart top one in front or bottom one in front choose your position and breathe for five big breaths letting yourself down and let's do it on the other side same side plank that you used on one side we want to use on the other side five breaths keep the hips high shoulders stacked nice job Come on over onto the abdomen. Bring your hands under your shoulder points. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Inhale, roll up to cobra. Exhale, soften. Inhale, and soften. Inhale, and soften. Tuck your toes, push your hips up, and walk your hands back to your table. Begin with a little cat-cow posture. Cow posture, your toes are tucked, gaze is forward, belly is low, tailbone up. Exhale, arch the spine up, Marjoriasana. Hmm. Inhale, tuck the toes, gaze forward. Exhale, push the spine up. Alternatively, you can take just a little more torso action by bending that part of the spine that is in the low and thoracic back. And when you're ready, come to stillness. Feel the table in your body. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Breath. Exhale the right heel back left thumb to the sky keep your table steady and strong inhale lift exhale sweep off center inhale long exhale away inhale long exhale away bring the left hand down bend the knee and donkey kick right heel to the sky Two more, bring the knee down, cleansing breath. Press your left heel out, right thumb to the sky. Inhale a little lift, exhale off center. Inhale long, exhale away. Inhale, exhale. Bring the hand home, bend the knee, get that glute working, donkey kick. You can do it. Kick the heel to the sky. Two more. And knee to the mat. Walk your hands, one hand print forward. Push the hips back a little bit, lengthen out. And then bring the hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Lift the heart, push the hips back, hips over heels, float to plank, exhale down dog, soften the knees to get your chest back towards the thighs, then drop your heels. Protect your wrists by keeping the weight in the base of your thumb 
your first two fingers. Inhale, plank. Drop your knees, hips back. Inhale, forward. Squeeze the glutes, lengthen out, up dog. Tuck your toes, exhale, down dog. Walk your hands to your feet or your feet to your hands. Come to your forward fold. Little softness in your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Breathe into that low belly. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, fill. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands behind you, rise up and release. Beautiful. Come to the center of your mat. I'm just gonna get a little drink of water here. Come to the center of your mat and we'll do a little a full body warm up. Take a little side bend by putting one foot behind the other and leaning towards that back foot. Then switch. Bring the other foot behind and lean towards that back foot. This opens the side body. Exhale as you lean. Inhale as you move. Exhale as you lean. One more time each side. And again, crescent moon. Coming back to center. We'll take a rising mountain. Stand in your mountain posture. As you do so, tip the right or one, either foot. One foot back as you lift the arms up and then come back to mountain. Switch, excuse me, switch to the other side. Lift that foot back and up, back to mountain. Inhale it up, exhale it down. Rising mountain, come back to mountain. One more time on each side and mountain and lift it up, rising mountain and mountain. Now we'll open up and star, okay? And twinkle our star a little. So float the one foot out, big star, coming back to mountain. Open to star, beautiful mountain. And again on each side, let the body be expansive. Inhale and exhale. How big can you be? and release open it up and release beautiful so we like to now move into our flow practice so coming to the top of your mat for a little flow coming into your mountain posture feel the weight in your heels <coughs> Stacking your joints. Coming to your breath. Exhale. That Ujjayi breath. Narrow the throat a little. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, a half lift. Exhale, fold and step back on the right. Coming to a low lunge. We're gonna be using a block in a little bit, so you might bring your block alongside you. Let your hips sink a little bit and your arms reach up for your low lunge. Lift the heart. Let the hips open a little in the front. And then bring your right hand down and see if you can stack your shoulders. Now you can put a block under your hand if that helps. Bring the left hand down and walk your hands back. Take your hurdler stretch here. Draw the toes back, lengthen the back of the leg. Feel that stretch. And then as you walk your hands forward, bring a block to the inside of the the foot and then open the twist the other direction tuck your back toes 
lift the knee and come into that deep extended side angle. Bring the hands down, the knee down, set your block aside, step back for your plank, and we'll take flow here, knees down, elbows in, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog. You can wag the tail a bit, down dog. Floating forward to plank, bring the left knee down, step the right foot forward. Let both hands rise in that low lunge, the hips sink forward. Lift the heart a little. Bring the hands down, left hand on the mat, turn towards the knee, stack the shoulders, and a close twist. And then bring your hands down and walk back to your hurdler's stretch. Now we're stretching the back of our leg. Draw the toes back, and then walk it up. And I like to use a block here underneath my hand, placing it on the inside of the foot, tucking the back toes and stacking the shoulders in an open twist. You may or may not need a block. Bring the hand down, set your block aside and step to forward fold. Inhale, lift, and fold. Sweep it up, and release. Ah, let that tension out of the body, yes. Now just take a moment to check in with yourself, how you're doing, is your mind staying in your practice? Are you feeling the practice in your body? We'll come back to mountain now. Stacking your joints. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, nice flat back as you swan dive down. Forward fold. Inhale, lift. Fold, step back to your runner's lunge two lanes of traffic. Leave the right hand down, turn the left hand towards the sky. Dragonfly twist. Keep drawing the back kneecap up. Bring the hand down, step back to plank. Take a flow, knees, elbows in, chest chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the right foot nice and high, bend the knee, stack the hips and flex your ankle. Bring that knee behind the right wrist. I like to use a block under my hand. We're coming into pigeon. Slide the shin forward. Keep your ankle flexed on the front foot the back foot straight. The stretch is in your outer right hip. Breathing for three, two, one more. Slide the shin back, set your block aside. Frame out your hands, push three-legged down dog. Free the hip, free the ankle. Exhale, step it forward, runner's lunge, and with a twist, we sometimes say fallen cross or dragonfly twist. Where are you feeling this? Bring the hand down, step, forward fold. Nod the head, yes and side to side. Inhale, half lift and fold. So 
sweep your hands behind you, rising up and release. Empty coat sleeves, letting go of tension. And we'll take these moves on the other side now. So same process. Mountain. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Lift as you half lift and breathe. Exhale, fold, step back on the left. Dragonfly twist. Reach for the sky. Bring the hand down and step back to your plank. Take your flow. Keep a nice long plank, then drop your knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. This time the left foot goes up. Bend the knees, flex the ankle, step the hips. Left ankle, uh, sorry, left knee comes behind the wrist, then slide it forward. Keep the ankle flexed. Option to tuck your back toes to intensify your stretch a bit. Breathing with that. Three. Two. One. Using the breath to help you let go a little. Slide the shin back, three-legged down dog. Free the leg, exhale, step it forward. Use your hand to grab your ankle and bring it forward. Dragonfly twist. Exhale, fold, and step to forward fold. Inhale, half lift, and fold. Inhale, sweep it up, tall mountain and release. Okay, how are you doing? Come about halfway through practice. Are you in your body? Is your mind unwinding a bit? Be kind to yourself, whatever's happening. We do the best we can with each practice. We'll come into a Siri Namaskara B now. We've been doing a C series. Now we'll do a B series. With the B series, we find our mountain and then we come into a chair. So soften the hips and knees, lift the hands, finding your chair and breathe. Push the heels apart. With your next exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, step back for a plank. Now you have an option to skip flow or take a different kind of flow or any flow that works for you. I'm gonna show a high to low push up with an up dog. Exhale, down dog. Meet me in down dog for a breath or two. Lift that left foot up. Help it find its way forward between the hands. The back toes are gonna be at about two o'clock. We're coming up into a warrior one pose. So push the feet apart. Arms come alongside the ears. Option to interlace for temple fingers. Check in with your shoulders, keep them comfortable. Let the hips sink a little but keep the knee relatively over the ankle. Engage your pelvic floor, breathing. Bring that front elbow to the knee and turn to the back toes. We wanna to switch now to a three 
a clock position, and a single lane of traffic. This is called extended side angle. Raise that top arm to the sky, and you can keep your gaze just horizontal down at the earth or up to the sky, whatever works for you. Three breaths here, lengthening out from that back heel right through the crown. You can also, if it's more comfortable for your shoulder, rest your hand on your sacrum and roll the shoulder open. Coming up to a warrior two. The footing is the same. And if your, your thighs feel a little tired, you can always ease up a little and then sink back into your warrior two. Three breaths here. Feel the warrior in. What you? What does the warrior mean? We each need a little warrior in us. Switch the hands. The top hand now comes up. Bottom hand to the earth. Peaceful warrior. Find the breath in the low belly. Exhale it out. Another breath. And again. Back to warrior two. By this time, my thigh is a right, a very much awake. It's working hard. Two more breaths. Straighten the front knee. We're gonna come into trikonasana, triangle posture. Float your hands forward, drop the hand anywhere but the knee, and open the heart to the side. Trico Nasano Triangle Posture, three breaths. Back to Warrior Two. Lift the hands up and the hips up. Turn the feet to the long edge of the mat. We're gonna to come to the back of the mat now. So switching positions, take the toes, face them to the back of the mat. Still one lane of traffic. Sink that knee right over the ankle, okay? Choose how, what your distance is between your strides so your legs feel strong. Warrior two. Drop into your extended side angle. Option to bring that top arm over the ear or straight up or tuck it behind the sacrum. Roll the shoulder back. Another breath, engage the pelvic floor. Warrior two. Soft gaze to infinity, shoulders away from the ears. Keep your front knee right over the ankle. Front palm comes up, reverse or peaceful warrior. Three breaths. Warrior two. Are you breathing? Straighten that front leg, draw the hip back. Trikonasana, triangle posture. Beautiful. It feels like a bit of a relief when you're in triangle when you've been using the thigh. Warrior two. Arms up, hips up, toes to the long edge of the mat, and return to the front of your mat. Windmill the arms, down to the mat. Step back and take or skip a flow of your choice. Meet me in down dog. Take a breath or two there. And then we'll take these postures on the other side. Inhale the right foot up. Bring it forward between the hands. 
back foot, two lanes of traffic, aiming towards 10 o'clock, warrior one. Now this time with your warrior one, let's play just a little bit, sinking into warrior one, then draw your arms back in cactus as you straighten the forward leg. Sink, lift up, arms back cactus, straighten the front knee, and warrior one. Bring the elbow down to the knee. We're getting ready for extended side angle. I like to place my left hand on the mat so I can move my back foot to a point at nine o'clock. One lane of traffic, extended side angle. Breathing. This time let's sweep it over the ear if that's okay for your shoulder. And then back to the hip. Inhale up, exhale back. We're gonna make it a little different on this side. Come on up to warrior two. Straighten that knee just a little and then sink the hips. Feel your warrior, sink it. Keep that knee safe and over the ankle and pause for a breath. Settling and then proud warrior, reaching. Feel the low belly breath. Warrior two. Straighten that front knee, float it out, find your triangle posture. Maybe this time you bring your hand to a block on the outside of the foot. Keep drawing the hip back. Feel the lightness in the top hand. Return to warrior two. Hands up, hips up, toes to the long edge of the mat. Warrior two at the other side of your mat. Bring the elbow down, extended side angle. Sweep your arm over the ear and back to the hip. Breathe it. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Come on up to warrior two again. Lift a little and then sink those hips. Lift and sink. Let's you kind of explore where does it feel the most at home. Reverse warrior. Feel that breath in the low belly. Exhale, use those core muscles. Warrior two. Draw that hip back and float those arms forward as you come into Trikonasana on this side. Stack the shoulders, draw the left hip back. Load it back up, warrior two. Hands up to the sky, turn the toes to the long edge of the mat, come back to the front of your mat. Windmill your hands to the mat. Step back for your plank. Take or skip a flow. Meet me in down dog. Breathing here in down dog for a few breaths. Bring yourself forward to plank. 
Bring your knees down and your elbows down. So you can come to a forearm plank. Three breaths. Option to float your knees. Push your hips up. Walk your toes forward a half step. Dolphin plank. Uh, dolphin dog. Float it back to dolphin plank. Three breaths. Push into the forearms. Keep the head long, the neck long. Hips lifted a little. Bring your knees down. Push your hips back. Forehead to the mat. Melting heart. Bring your hands where your elbows were. And walk yourself forward. And bring your hips down to the mat. Come down onto our backs. We'll take a bridge posture. Slide your shoulders under a bit and bring your heels up against your glutes. Spread and lift the toes. Feel the weight of your body, gravity. Welcome yourself home to now. Now, this moment of your life. Feel the breath in the low belly on the exhale. Push the navel towards the earth. Inhale, fill. Exhale, push it down. Inhale, fill. Exhale, roll the spine up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Shoulders under, push into your heels, your shoulders, lift your chin. Draw the knees a little bit closer together. Breathing, engage your pelvic floor. and then lift your heels. Lengthen your spine as you wiggle it, tailbone to the heels, letting it come down. Good job, good job. Bring your knees in towards your chest. When you're ready, let your feet come up towards the sky. Take your thumbs, roll them underneath your sacrum, so you get a little lift from your thumbs under your sacrum. We're going to do what I call double B's. So the, you're going to let your heels come down, squeeze the glutes at the bottom, sweep them out wide, and bring them up. So now let's start maybe just with some little circles. And then switch direction. Breathing. And then we'll make them a little bigger. Let your heels come all the way down. Widen out the feet and bring them up to the top. Inhale down, exhale out and up. Couple more. Nice and slow. Now we'll switch directions. Go out wide, zip up the middle. Out wide, up the middle. One more time. Bring your knees in, a couple circles on the back, and switch directions. Core work can feel so challenging, can't it? Let your heels come down, we'll take another bridge. This time we'll take the option of a single-footed bridge. <coughs> Find your way into your bridge Bring all the weight to one heel and extend the other heel out in front of you. Breathing for three, two, last one, point the toe to the sky. Bring the heel down, lift it to your bridge, take a breath, 
exhale, lift the heels, lengthen the spine towards the heels. Beautiful. Knees in. Rock the back a little. And then take some of those small circles. With the toes, change direction. Option to do the bigger circles. Put our thumbs underneath our backs because that helps give support to the low back. And change directions. One more time. Bring the knees in, a few circles on your back, and we'll take our last bridge. Bring your heels down behind the glutes. Roll your shoulders under a little. And find your way into your bridge. Float the other foot. Three breaths. Reach for the sky. Bring the heel down. Lift the hips a bit. And then slowly lengthen the tailbone towards the lifted heels. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Draw some of those circles on the chest, on the back. And switch directions. And then slide your hands between your uh, knees. Bring your ankles or toes or some part of your leg into your hands for a happy baby posture. Let your heels go up to the sky. Start to feel the four corners of your back and breathe. We're on that unwind of our practice, letting the exhale happen. however practice unfolded for you just knowing your practice was perfect perfect it's a perfect practice release those feet bring your hands to the knees draw some big circles and then switch directions and find your block We'll take legs up the wall, bridge up enough to slide your block underneath the sacrum. And then let your knees come in, make sure you feel steady there. Let the heels float up to the sky. Wiggle your toes or let them be still, whatever feels good to you. This is a restorative posture. We get a lot of uh, lymphatic drainage and venous drainage back into our body. Let the feet drift apart, coming into a bit of an inner thigh stretch. The body be heavy. The ankles can come back together. Let the right ankle come across the left knee for a moment. And draw it in towards the chest, a bit of a number four posture here. The number four is upside down, in case you're wondering. And then switch to the other side. It's also known as eye of the needle. Just a little breath with that, keep the ankle flexed. And releasing. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Let the right heel go long and walk your hands up the back of the left leg. Good stretch for the hamstring. 
and then switch. Let both feet come down to the earth behind the block. Lift the hips up, take the block out. Let the toes reach over to the long edge of the mat and windshield wiper a little bit left and right. Releasing tension in the back. Now let the left leg go long and take that right knee into the left hand. Bring it across the body. Put your foot out in front of you and your right hand out behind you with your gaze. A long spinal twist. Letting go, letting go. Breathing. Letting go. Slide your hand underneath your knee and gently bring yourself back through center. Let the right heel go long and bring the left knee in towards the body. Put it in the right hand and bring it across the body. Let it kick out in front of you. And take your gaze in the left hand out behind you. Take a breath in and on the exhale, See if you can soften the body a little more, letting it drift towards the earth with gravity. And then gently lift that left knee back up, bringing yourself to center. We'll unfold the body in what's called Shavasana, our final resting posture. Let the legs widen out a little bit. The toes drift away from the center of the body. Open the hands in a gesture of acceptance. Roll the shoulder blades under. Lift the chin. Take a big breath in. And on the exhale, begin to feel the body get heavy. Soften across the brow. The eyes be soft, letting go of the tension around the eyes. The cheeks soften and the jawline. Unhinge the jaw, the tongue be thick. The shoulders drift away from the ears. Right arm be heavy from the shoulder, through the elbow, the wrist, into the fingertips. And the left arm from the shoulder to the elbow, to the wrist, heavy. Heavy, soft, and warm all the way through to the fingers. Let your torso be heavy, and the back body resting against the earth. Hips heavy. Heavy, soft, and warm. leg from the hip through the knee through the ankle all the way to the toes the whole left leg heavy soft warm the 
the next exhale, bringing yourself to the right leg. Through the hip, the knees, the ankles, and out through the toes. The whole right leg heavy, soft, and warm. Let yourself rest with your attention on your breath. The mind wanders. Just bring it back to the breath. Nothing to do. Be receptive. Receptive of the breath. The sounds around you. Receptive. You can rest here as long as you wish. Or you can join me in beginning to find a little movement in the body and deepening your breath. You might lengthen out in a bit of a stretch. And bring your knees in. Give them a gentle hug. And then join me, if you wish, in a seated posture to close our practice time together. So lovely to practice with you, hands in heart center. May you take a bit of what you've built here on the mat into your evening, to your week. May you find peace, joy, Om Shanti, Om Peace, Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for practice. It's lovely to practice with you. I hope you have a beautiful week.